Well, I'd like to welcome right now with me Dr. Andrew Chang. He is with the California Protons Cancer Therapy Center, which is down in La Jolla. That's correct. Thank you for coming up here today. Thank you very much. I'm it's happy a, to be here. It's a pleasure to meet you and to uh, learn about uh, this type of therapy. I know we've, uh, we've learned about it in the past before, basically the same center and some of the great doctors that are still there. Uh, you're going to get a little bit more into that. and. I think the first thing is, what is it? What is proton therapy and sure. how does it work for cancer? I'll be happy to talk about proton therapy. Protons is a form of radiation treatments mm -hmm. and when I think about cancer treatments, we generally think about three main ways of treating cancer. Okay. We use surgery to cut out a tumor as mm -hmm. much as possible. We use chemotherapy that goes throughout the body to destroy any little small cells there and we use radiotherapy, kind of focusing an area where a cancer is or was to help clean that area up, sort of mop it up in essence. Proton therapy is a very special form of radiation therapy mm -hmm. that allows us to kind of pinpoint the radiation a little bit better than standard radiation and so allows us to give the treatment with less of a chance of side effects. Okay, and I think uh, beyond the actual cancer, that's what people fear most, uh, not from the surgery part, of course, sure. but from chemotherapy and radiation therapy, uh, you know, all the different kinds of side effects, the myriad That's of side correct. effects. That's correct, yeah. So how does this, uh, well, I, th I think my, my next question is, does this work on all cancers, just certain ones that uh, are eligible for this? Sure, that's a great and question what if as they, well. I should also go with that, the size of the cancer. What mm -hmm. if it, it grows? Can you still use this? That's, that's a great question, or a great set of questions. Certainly, proton therapy can be used for any sort of cancer that radiation treats. Okay. And so, in general, that means any cancer, any solid cancer in the body, we can certainly treat with proton okay. therapy. The most common cancers we've been treating with protons have been brain tumors, mm -hmm. as well as cancers in the prostate, which is the most common cancer yeah, among men. Yeah, I've heard of that specifically. Yes. Exactly. And one of my colleagues will be here later on this year to talk about that, mm -hmm. Dr. Rossi. Uh, one of the things that we've been doing more recently over the probably past five years or so is using proton therapy to treat breast cancer. Okay. Now that's more one of the most common cancers of women, of course. Yeah. And yeah, it's a great treatment to help protect the normal tissues. Now with uh, something like breast cancer and prostate cancer, is that, a, again, once you identify it, it, it can go in and be very, very precise. So you're not, you're not basically uh, taking out or with standard radiation therapy, killing off good cells. You're, you're doing yes. it yes. much more precise. Than much more precise in what we're giving it. But you know, one of the ways I kind of describe it to my patients is if one thinks about standard radiation, kind of like a shotgun that hits everything yeah. in the area, proton therapy you could think about like as a target rifle. Okay. Right? You could pinpoint where we're giving that radiation a bit better. So if you imagine a piece of paper with a circle drawn on it, you use a shotgun, you get some bullets yeah. inside the circle, yeah. some bullets outside. With a target rifle, you can get all the bullets inside that circle. And yeah, that's great, what we try to great do. Great way to, to say that. Now this is what's really interesting. Uh, it's been around for 60 years. Yeah, that's, that's right. Not the misprint here. The no, it's not a misprint. Wow. Yeah, so proton therapy is actually um, a evolution of a okay. medical research device. The accelerators that were used for heavy physics research in the okay. 1930s and 40s. Mm -hmm. And in 1946, one of these early scientists said, hey, you know what, we can use this for cancer treatment as well. And so the first patients were actually treated in 1954 in uh, California, Berkeley, uh, one of our mm -hmm. premier University of California yeah. uh, research laboratories. And people said, well, this is great. It wasn't until the 80s that we actually designed one specifically for medicine and not just physics research, but it's been around for a long time. And why is it then it, that pe people haven't heard about this quite as much? Yeah. And why isn't it used more? Well, these or this type of radiation therapy, I should say. Yeah, it's uh, actually something that is starting to come across public awareness more. Mm -hmm. You know, when we started doing this in the 1990s in uh, a medical facility, that was the only one in the world. And so very few people had access to it. Okay. Even 15 years ago when I started doing this, there was only three in the country. Wow. Well, in the last five years, now there's 28. And mm -hmm. the next five years, there's going to be another 20 or so that are being developed. And so it's starting to reach the level people are hearing about it. It's a great form of treatment, and it's actually been covered by Medicare completely uh, for over 15 years now. Wow. So is it uh, maybe the, the cost? 
Sure. The cost uh, not of only time. the yeah. cost for insurance costs, uh, whoever might be paying, if it's mm -hmm. Medicare, that sort of thing, but the equipment, is yes. that more costly? And I, I've seen in the past the, the whole room that's in there that uh, the patient lays down on, and uh, so is that part of it as yeah. well, and bringing that cost down? Definitely, definitely. Okay. Building this equipment is quite sophisticated, and so yeah. it's quite expensive. And on top of it, it's probably the most complex device ever made for medical treatments mm -hmm. in human history. And so just designing one and building the building and the process of planning it out takes five to 10 years just in that process. Wow. Mm -hmm. wow. I would also have to think as well that with the patient coming in that, um, you know, once you pinpoint where it is, they have to be very still. Yeah and make sure they don't move because you're pinpointing something now. That's exactly right, yeah. that's exactly right. So we use a lot of different ways of making sure we help the patient to hold still. We mm -hmm. make some devices that help remind the patient to hold still. In essence, a bean bag we suck the air out of, so yeah. it kind of forms to the body, right, right. and yeah. other devices such as that. So how are you folks different down at uh, your center versus, uh, uh, you mentioned there's still, there's a few other proton therapy mm -hmm. fe centers. So the uh, California Protons uh, has the uh, fantastic advantage of being one of the newest proton centers in the world. And as such, it utilizes the newest technology in order to deliver mm -hmm. that treatment. That in addition to being able to do precision treatment, allows us to do it quicker as well as to a larger portion of the body. So previously at the centers, uh, one of the things I mentioned is in the last few years, we've started treating breast cancer. The previous centers weren't able to treat breast cancer as easily because it was a larger area than the small tumors. Okay. Now with uh, the newer proton centers like at California Protons, we can treat the entire breast if necessary for a patient. What about the patient themselves as far as um, they live up here, mm -hmm. they go to their primary or specialist, uh, can they say, you know, this is the place that I want to go? How does that, since you know, you're down in San Diego, sure. how does that work out? How do they get their care provider to get you folks on board? Sure. Well, most cancers treatments require a team of doctors to care for the cancer mm -hmm. patient. And generally, if a patient is interested, they could just ask their oncologist, their cancer doctor, and say, can I have my records reviewed by the doctors at California Protons? And the records are sent to us, we review it, and then we tell a patient whether or not they're eligible to come okay. see us. So we're always happy to review. Yesterday, I, I saw a gentleman from Hawaii that just flew in for his uh, consult. Oh, so, wow. Mm -hmm. Now, it's along with that, because this is a more of a pinpoint therapy, does the patient have to come back every couple of weeks? Or how uh, does it take longer or the same amount of time to basically go after the cancer to the point where you can say, they're cancer free or yeah. you know, we're at the point that you no longer need this. Yeah, well fortunately <clears throat> it's very similar to how standard radiation is okay. done. So it's not uh, a longer period of time. And in some cases, because we are more uh, precise and pinpoint, we can do the treatment in a shorter amount of time than standard radiation therapy. Okay, so that's good. Now, you mentioned how the patient can ask their, their physician to send these down. Mm -hmm. Is that a request somebody uh, if they make that request, is there, are their physician or their team obligated to do that? Are, are they going to go, no, 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 we're better? Or? Yeah, no, most people, most physician teams are very happy to send uh, okay. records. But doctors usually want the best care for their patients. And so if patients have questions, we're always happy to say, you know, come give us a call, contact us, and we'll be happy to facilitate that for okay, the patient. Okay, very good. And again, you're down in La Jolla area. That's correct. And uh, nice area, by the way. And it's great to have you here. Well, thank you very much, Ken. A pleasure to meet you. And I know we'll see other uh, doctors. Yep, and I'll be up myself uh, the next couple of weeks as well. All right. Uh, we'll get him in one of the photos on the website. He's wearing a Spider-Man one because you deal with pediatrics. <laughs> I also treat the children, yes. All right, so next time wear the Spider-Man. <laughs> there he is. Next time wear the Spider-Man. <laughs> I'll be happy to do so. All right. He's got kind of the, the theme going oh, i got the, the colors tie. going, yeah. Or maybe Incredibles. I don't know, <laughs> one of the two. But it looks great. I want to give you um, the website very easy, California Pro protons.com 858-549-7400 is the number great folks there and uh, we're happy to have you well, thank you very much we'll be right back